Hey, I'm Dave. And this is Bill from Punish Props. Thanks for being here, Bill. Absolutely. We just did the meetup last night. Yep, good times. We had our, our buddy here, a uh, man in the door. Yeah, he's security. Mm -hmm. Did pretty well. So this thing is awesome, giant. It's on a, uh, an RC car. Yeah. So all of this is uh, not 3D printed, but instead the foam smith made it out of foam, painted acrylic, uh, acrylic paint, so I assume? Yeah, a bu bunch of different stuff. Uh, okay. So my wife Brittany did yep. all of the bodywork on this and designed and built all of the foam parts. The, the ceiling is actually a latex. Okay, and There's cool. acrylic paint on top yep. of that. And varnish that smell because mm. we just finished still, this, still curing. Just finished it a couple days ago. <laughs> the nice varnish to seal it, and keep them all protected. Uh, so anyway, this is Probius from Heroes of the Storm in Starcraft, and uh, he can emote a little bit. So, I can do so cool! And we're going to take him to BlizzCon. Nice. And I understand that although the exterior and most of the visual stuff is foam, some pieces of plastic in here, but the guts of it have quite a bit of 3D printing Absolutely, involved. Yeah. You did one video on your Punish Props channel that everyone should check out. I genuinely think it's one of the more inspiring cases of like how to use 3D printing to solve a specific problem. It's like a three minute video that you just sort of pointed a camera at the parts that you were making. You did like two or three iterations mm -hmm. to get uh, two aluminum pieces to join together. Optimizing print orientation, design, how you're gonna hold these things. I, I genuinely think it's one of the best 3D printing videos that is on the internet awesome. and could be a seed as to why people are like, oh, I don't know what I would do with 3D printing. That is the case. I had a problem and you solved it. Yeah, you would build a frame for your, your uh, Protoss. Yeah. So why don't we open them up? Sounds good. And uh, see what the insides look like. We'll dive in. All right. Okay, so he's got these fins here, like this part up yep. there. And these all come off for transport. That was the other challenge, is this thing had to fly from <laughs> Seattle to LA. In four giant containers, mm -hmm. checked baggage. And it worked. To pose these, we have an aluminum armature wire. Cool. And inside are 3D printed nylon sleeves. Little receivers. Yeah, so the uh, quarter inch uh, rod goes in there and it's a big paddle, a big flat surface to so take a, glue. A bunch of surface area to attach to the foam. Yeah. And then the quarter inch steel dowel. This is a aluminum. Aluminum yeah. dowel is received into that yeah. socket. And that way, um, there's so much more surface area so that when we're forcing mm -hmm. on these things and posing them, it's not just this thin wire pressing into the foam. Uh, the nylon hot glued to the foam really well. Yeah, so. which is awesome because nylon is actually a very inert plastic. Mm -hmm. It doesn't chemically like to bond with anything. It doesn't necessarily love to be painted either. Yeah. So the fact that you were able to hot glue those and get some adhesion, how, did you do any tricks of uh, primers or any extra nope. way to get that just to stick? That flat surface, just we ran it on the belt sander to wrap okay. it up and then hot glued it right down to the foam. And when you sand the nylon, it gets like little fuzzies yeah, right yeah. for the hot glue to actually grab onto. So it's a good mechanical, physical bond. Yes, absolutely. Um, there are also, so some of these, like this part here, can go on there and it can spin. Okay. But on the other end of this is another one of these little paddle things. And uh, it's actually screwed through the rod so that it okay. can't spin on the other side. Gotcha. So it's indexed. Yeah, so each one of these has one on either side so that we can bend and pose these things uh, fairly roughly and they'll, awesome. they'll be fine. Cool. So that's one 3D printed part. Uh, and those, that uh, type of system where you've got a 3D printing part, 3D printed part receiving the aluminum dowels, like two of these or three, four, five? One, two, three, four. Five. We have five of them on. Cool. The eyebrows. Okay. The eyebrows, that's right. <coughs> seven. Six, seven. seven. I forgot about that. So cool. he, can, he can emote a little bit with his. You can see I can just yeah. bend that and it'll it just kind of stay where it is. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Then on the inside, this is held in with magnets. <laughs> and I, I love just, magnets. So this is the guts. This is the cool. good stuff in there. So this is the part I did a video on before. And it's two pieces of nylon. Go find that video. Yeah. That's the uh, inspiring one. And the other thing I 3D printed, you can see on the inside here, another one of those paddles. And that's drilled yep. right into this aluminum frame. And then this here is our battery. Now this is just a, uh, it just puts out 12 volts. Cool. Super simple, super cheap. Um, Powers the LEDs? Just the LEDs. Okay. 
And those are all uh, running off of here. And those are 12 volt LEDs, so no math. <laughs> and these guys here are, again, more nylon, and they're clips that run the battery. So that can just slide right in nice and cool. snug. And then I just tap some holes into the frame, screwed it in, no glue necessary, and it works awesome. Cool. Using nylon and functional parts. Yes. And that part there, you can see our eyebrows, we realized this wire, the best way to attach it was just to zip tie it in. If it works, and it works. Zip ties just, are nylon also. Yeah. And then we just cut it off when we want to take them apart and then cool. zip tie it next time. You get to pack them up to take them home. That was one of the last things we did, and it was about one in the morning. We're like, how are we <laughs> gonna put this together? Zip ties! One in the morning, 7 a.m. flight. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Any other 3D printed parts on here that I are think cool? It's, I think we covered it all, yeah. Sweet. Very cool, man. This is an awesome project, and you will be doing a build on this on Punisher Well, Rock's a couple channel. of videos, yeah. Brittany will have a video out for the bodywork, and then I'm going to have a video out for the frame and RC car. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Check that out. Punish props. All right. Thanks for coming, man. Absolutely. Appreciate taking a look at this stuff. You betcha. Keep doing awesome stuff. We will. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all the latest videos. And don't forget, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.